camera lights action. Republic of Ireland won. Georgia Neil. Lads, how are we feeling? Well, a lot better after last time. I think Mix installed a little bit more vision to the side. I really like the fact that like Glenn, Conor Horahan and Jeff Hendrick were kind of dropping towards the defence, getting the ball deep and bringing it out to the fullbacks. I felt like Ender Stevens played very well today. Coleman had the game that he normally does have. Solid. Solid. Yeah, that's that's what he that's what he brings to the table. And there's more to that, like a captain side. I felt against Gibraltar, I didn't really like Doherty on the right mid. Now, I think it was justified tonight. Yeah, well that well that's true. You know what I mean. But Glenn not, not that he's a bad player or anything oh, like no, that. No, I just I'm mean a big it. Fan. I'm a big Before fan the game, a lot of people were criticising McCarthy for the fact that he actually left Doherty out. But the fact of the matter is. The gamble paid off. Well, at the end of the day, it's three points. It's three points regardless. Like, we're sitting top of the group right now. We're beating Georgia, we're beating Gibraltar, which we should have done. Let's be honest, when we got that round of fixtures, we were expecting six points. Maybe against Gibraltar, we didn't perform the best we could have. We know that against Gibraltar tonight, we didn't perform the best we could have. But six points. Absolutely. We top of the group for. as well. That's it, yeah. Damn, how would you feel? I'm more or less the same. When I seen the fixtures, I was like, Gibraltar away, Georgia at home. Two nice fixtures to start with, you know. Um, there were games we should have got three points each from, and we did. Um, we got a bit of criticism from the first game. I know we beat them, we got three points, but one nil against Gibraltar. What did we get, 11 nil aggregate last time we played them? Some, Seven, I think. Well, so, right, yeah, so I think yeah, it was about nine. 11, and we beat them one nil. It was pretty poor. Um, I think it was mixed first game, and it was artificial pitch, windy conditions, you know. You can only try so much. Well, I don't know. I get. I, I was one one to criticise him. I, th- I think it was more of a banana skin avoided. Yeah, and then we, we came we came at home, and I, I think we really did start well. Um, try, trying things, different paths. I actually think a few of our players had very good games. Glenn Wheel. I think a slate of last one was on the channel a lot. Glenn Wheel. He came. I did, and he came back, and he, he did have a good performance today. As did David McGoldrick, and we had a few good performances today. One nil. They had a few chances as well. Maybe we can worry about that. But I think Mick will sort out the lads and hopefully they four in the next games. I think we play uh, Denmark and Gibraltar in the next international fixtures and hopefully we can improve. But six points out of six, why not? Sorry. To be fair, it's been the first time he's had the players together. So I mean, we just have to build on it. He's got the team cam- camaraderie back. Uh, they, they all seem to be playing. I mean, when was the last time you seen Jeff Hendrick run around with that much energy? Well, that's like that's dead right. Like when I think Mick came in, we were all crying out for a striker, but he can't go out to the transfer market and find himself. Bingo. Do you know what I mean? And regardless of anything, now Dave and Goldrick, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of him, but tonight he put himself about, and so did Jeff. Good man, the matches though. Yeah, well, Jeff after after the Gibraltar game, he played very well, but you expect that kind of from everyone. But him and Horan tonight, the fact that he was let go for the first half, and then when he needed a rest, he could sit. Horahan then went forward, kind of linked with James McLean on the left wing. I found like it was very good. It was very good. We seen, especially against Gibraltar, we didn't need a CDM, like a proper sitting defensive yeah. midfielder. Tonight, Glenn Whelan came into that role and gave the two lads the freedom to push forward, to link midfield and attack. And I felt it went very well. And as you said, Jeff Hendrick, yeah, he was. He's kind of like the Euro 2016 that we've seen of him. Really enjoying his football. And energetic getting around yeah. midfield. Maybe going forward, seeing Glenn Whelan defend a bit more, being a bit deeper. We can see the likes of Hurahan playing a role that the likes of Wes Hulahan like, would have played. You know, Creative, a bit more attacking, you know. Well, he was actually involved. one player, sorry to cut you off, he was actually one player that I wanted to kind of touch on. Is that a lot of people aren't even talking about Hurahan. He's got a free kick. He was man of the match the other night. He was set up the goal. Like, he was, he was, he was involved, involved in the goal uh, involved. with with uh, with Hendrick the other night. And you know, a lot of the times we've been calling on someone like Hurahan and maybe Alan Brown to step up. And I feel like in this round of qualifiers that Hurahan has. I think the only thing about Hurahan, I think a lot of football fans. I hear a lot of um, football fans talk about whenever you're. In a lower division than the Premier League, you get a bit. Like I've, I've seen a lot of Aston Villa fans say on their f- f- Facebook page that he's been inconsistent and stuff like that. And when we're looking for someone like that, so maybe inconsistency before the fixtures came out, maybe you're looking and thinking, 
all right, that's happened. But why not destroy someone like that out? And I think it's worked having someone like that who can produce um, true balls, who can make something happen like Wes having. And I think he deserves a lot more credit, Haran, over the two games he's played. Because, as, as you said, uh, first game heavily involved in the first goal, gave the ball to Emma Goldrick, and then he scored tonight. So I think he, he should be playing... In the, in the future, I think he should be playing, starting most games. I think as well, he takes the pressure off Robbie Brady in regards to set yeah. pieces yeah. as well. I think his set pieces are almost better, yeah. but definitely at the I moment. Was surprised. I was actually surprised Robbie Brady wasn't on the set pieces. It must have been something I talked about before, that Horaham would be taking them. I was very surprised at that, because yeah. Robbie Brady's set pieces have been pretty good in the past. Yeah, but just going, just going forward now, just going to wrap it up. Six points from six. I was sitting here with you boys six months ago. We couldn't even see a goal happening. Are you much? Are you much happier? Are we? Are we much more positive? Well, as I well, said, go on. A lot better from the last time. Let's be honest. But I'd love to see us now go out, beat Gibraltar at home, of course, as we expect. Go and give Denmark a game. Not not go full front attack, but just put ourselves a lot better than what we have been doing. Because let's be honest, it's been poor. The past year has been very very poor. All we can hope for is. A bit of progress. We can't get too excited on the fixtures that we've had, you know. Of course, yeah. Gibraltar away, Georgia home. But, you know, you can only be who you play. Six points out of six. Nice start. Top of the group. Don't know how long that'll last, but hopefully it does. Please, guys. We, as I say, we played Gibraltar home, should be a nice fixture, and uh, Denmark away. So, hopefully, I'm praying we get, we get to the Euros. But, good start. No better start than six points out of six. 100% lads appreciate your time thank you very much guys if you either agree or disagree with the lads let us know in, your co in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video appreciate your time thanks for watching